there assassins, welcome to episode number 9 of building Hawking Square from Stranger Things and in Minecraft. Oh gosh, it has been a long long time hasn't it? It has been a couple weeks now. My uh, my YouTube is telling me 3 weeks. Ah, Probably longer by the time this video comes out. That is scary and I really am sorry for uh, you know being away for so long guys. It is good to be back though. We have a mission on our hands. We are going to be needing to get ourselves every single intersection lit up with some traffic lights and of course some lovely lampposts now these lampposts are looking good <laughs> don't mean to blow my own trumpet but they are looking pretty fancy so yeah we're gonna need to definitely get this done is this one missing uh traffic lights uh, maybe 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 i didn't realize that from my like original plan who knows we'll figure it out later so yeah guys i can't believe how long it's been and uh, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who has been supporting this series and also building along with me uh, over these many, many weeks. I am very dedicated to getting this done now. After leaving you guys for such a long time, I, I'm sure that you're wanting to get this done. And so I really want to get this done for you as well. So yeah, let's get a, let's get a start. Let's, nah, nah, nah. let's make a start with episode number nine. Let's go for it. Alrighty then, assassins, we are over here. Uh, this is on the furthest away side from the clock tower of our Hawkins Public Library. We're going to grab ourselves some nether brick fences, some nether brick slabs, some nether brick stairs, some cyan concrete, a warped sign, some beacons, nether brick wall, and some stone brick slabs as well. Now, what I usually do with these tutorials is I go ahead and do like a research section at the beginning of the video. Um, you guys don't see that, it's completely off camera. It basically allows me to go and photograph everything on an iPad and then kind of use it as a reference when I'm teaching you. That's how I teach you. Um, but for this one, because it is a bit more complex, because we have four different intersections to get done and they are kind of similar, I don't want to go ahead and do the, the research part all together and get myself confused. So we're going to do one step at a time, one out of four steps. So let's get started with number one. Over here. We have ourselves, of course, the intersection with the zebra crossings. We need to go ahead and just kind of trim this out in a bit of a corner shape so that both the zebra crossings match up, like so, like so even. Uh, and then we come down here, we have three blocks after the zebra crossing line. We'll go back onto the middle of this one and we're going to just place one wall just there, hunky dory, looking good. Then we're going to take ourselves nether brick fences and we will build these up to five. One, two, three, oops. Three, four, five. On the third one, one, two, and three. I'm going to go back on myself for here and here. So basically, where there's a road, this way. And of course, that way, we'll build ourselves little kind of signposts. As you can imagine, these are for pedestrians, knowing that there's going to be like a bunch of shops this way and wherever going down that way. Awesome. Now then, again, five blocks. Um, between, oh no, not between these, sorry, five blocks from the floor, so one, two, three, four, five, of course we have that, we're then going to go ahead and do ourselves a nice old thing like this, so coming out forward on this one, I'd like to go and double check this because I'm a little bit unsure, but I think it's accurate, no, I was actually correct about that, I just wanted to go and double check just in case, so the next thing to do here is we're going to come up on ourselves um, once we come out just a few more blocks, we'll come out just a second one on both sides and then we'll go up and out, up and out. And now on this one with the shorter road, we're going to go up just for one. And then we're actually going to bring this along for eight, including number one here. So two, th ah, three, four, five, six, seven and eight just here. As you can see, that goes on to our fourth white line on our zebra crossing and that is perfect because it kind of only goes for this side of the road, which is brilliant. So the next one over here, this one is actually going to come up for one, and then it will go this way for about 16. So we have number one already. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. It needs to go the entire way along the carriageway here, because we're actually adding the lights on this side. Very awkward, I know. Why don't they just build the pole there? But, you know, save some save some uh, some steel instead of having to get two separate posts just do the one big one so yeah uh, I don't know why I got very technical with engineering there or whatever <laughs> right anyways let's go here and we'll come back in ourselves for one we'll do a stair and then we want to leave 
a one block and down here two cyan concretes for our road sign leave one traffic light and then here we need to place a temporary block I recommend just using your concrete to stick a stair on the front to come down again here ah, it's fiddly this section that's what I will say it's not hard it's just fiddly slabs on top of both of your traffic lights and those are looking pretty good now if you want to extra detail your traffic lights I recommend using maybe some glow item frames and then also some maybe some blocks of redstone and um, then of course the concretes for green and concretes for yellow those would look really good on your traffic lights here and here uh, but it's up to you you can just leave them plain like I've done and uh, that looks also pretty cool so let's go back over this way let's build our post going upwards to another five so one two three four and five and then we'll go ahead and connect them with three we'll drop down on this one adding in a beacon and then back up to the top of the back pillar place a slab sorted now over here this traffic light is going to need to be coming in obviously in the one temporary block traffic light pretty much done then we'll do a singular sign with our cyan so again a block away from the traffic light remember leaving a block another traffic light over here and don't forget to add your slabs above each one as well just like so wonderful all right let's just <laughs> let's just double check the actual signs on here so this one is going to say oak street because this is what this big road here all the way behind me is going to be so this parallel road so we're going to write on this sign on the right side second line down all in caps just because it looks nice and professional oak and then we'll just do the little abbreviated for street st also stranger things lovely easter egg totally meant that and then over here we're going to do ourselves second street again on the second line down so we're just writing here second and street like so perfect so now all traffic coming from this direction would be like ah oh, second street that's where i'm going and they go that way and then this one oak street they go that way and guys i just want to apologize i've had some literally all i've had is chocolate milkshake and i feel very just giddy for no reason so if you're wondering why, why am i so freaking weird that's the reason <laughs> chocolate milkshake does it to me all right we're gonna flip over this way now and uh we'll, we'll get this side done as well all right then what we're gonna need to do is once again chop some pieces of grass out up to each side of the zebra crossing so basically just build like a right angle um like that in order to kind of connect these zebra crossings i'm also going to remove the granite in here because it doesn't need to be there i don't know why i added it in the first place to be honest but there we go we'll come to this one here and we're going to add in our first nether brick wall and then of course we want to do ourselves the three for our post here in order to add the pedestrian signs like that then we want two more so it becomes five and then these start to come out the sides obviously for the road um the road markings and stuff so that's good then here we're going to come out again obviously on both sides for one each then we go up and out for one up and out for one and then once again we come out uh, sorry up for one each on both sides uh, however this one's going to be slightly different so this one over here will come over to the yellow line it will actually go onto the yellow line here and then this one over here goes on to also the yellow line I think maybe just before it, but I'm gonna to go to the yellow line anyways we can always change it later if we need to awesome so this is the um, travel light at the beginning of the video I was saying that oh we haven't built it so I went ahead and built it <laughs> so hopefully it's uh, it's gonna be accurate that looks good though what I'm gonna do is come in from down this end I'm gonna stick myself a traffic light here temporary block traffic light slab then I'm going to leave a space and do two blocks here for my road um, sign. And then I'll do my other traffic light just up here. Oh, ja ah, come on. Just like so. And that should leave us with about three up this end. Which I think could be accurate, but it also might be two. So I think we'll make it two. What would, so we'll just literally shorten it down by going like this. Like this. And like that and then knock that one off just to build another one here there we are that's fixed sorry for my little mistake there that's sorted though looking good though lovely all right and over here we'll do the same traffic light 
and then we leave only one block so just here and then a travel light here as well so we have two blocks on the end again and that's the best way to know really if both of them have the same amount of blocks before the post then you know you've done it correctly it's a good marker which i need to start remembering and there we are and obviously you want to go ahead and make sure the signs line up with the ones before them so oak street is of course this big long road so on this little sign we'll stick ourselves oak street same abbreviated way but on the same sign and then of course this big one is going to be second street so we'll do second on the left sign second row down and street on the um, right one so second and then the abbreviation for street which is st of course just there like so perfect now don't forget to build up your traffic light um, post into a lamp post by adding on yourself is it five before it we'll go five one two ooh, two three four five go ahead and connect them all nether brick slab there and then a beacon just in here like so and voila you have yourselves your first intersection very well done guys that looks awesome okay guys so at the same intersection that we've just been working on as you can see it does look really good but there is a little detail we can add in here and it's just this little sort of island um, for the pathway and also showing the corner of the public library's sort of lawn um, we can go ahead and change basically every single grass block in our slabbed area into stone brick slabs and this just looks a lot fancier a lot nicer and uh, yeah it just makes it look pretty cool so this can be done quite quickly and you can notice a huge difference once it's done already look at that just looks wicked and then what we'll do is we'll come down to the double slab here on the uh, the actual zebra crossing we'll leave a space and we'll go in here knocking this one through building a block with our slabs and then sticking a brick wall down here and then one two three four nether brick walls here uh, sorry fences even like so we'll only build one backwards like that and then what I'd like to do is take myself some flowered azalea from down here like so and I'm going to stick this down from the post there just so it looks like a hanging basket just there which looks really beautiful and then I'm going to go ahead and build basically a lamppost the exact same way as these ones with of course our white stained glass pane or white stained glass block and our candles so we'll stick our block on top of the actual post and then we'll do four candles on the very top like so so yeah that is really nice and that is just a, a little section you can add in just here to finalize this area for today wonderful now we'll go ahead and get started with maybe this one down this way all right guys so i've shuffled myself down quite a bit as you can see uh so we are on this road here which is kind of next to the flag um so we are going to be building the traffic lights that go in here we'll firstly start by going over here and just knocking out this little bit of grass area to then knock out the granite and now we have ourselves two zebra crossings connected we want to do ourselves a nether brick wall in between the three of our slabs here and then we got five with our fence of course three four five we're not going to do our little pedestrian signs for this one we're just going to go straight with the traffic lights so we'll come out on both sides for remember two on each one then up and out for one up and out for one and then on this one over here we're going to need to go out for ten. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten and the other one fourteen one two three four five six seven eight ooh, eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so as you can see that covers both sides of the highway there on this one we're gonna actually come back in for two instead of the one so one two and on three is where we'll build our traffic light just in here for number one we'll do ourselves a double road sign again and a space away another traffic light over here don't forget to stick your slabs by the stairs and we'll sort out the sign afterwards back this way we want to make the rest of the lampposts for one two three four five obviously do that grouping the beacon down here and the slab up in the corner there like so over here we will go in uh, from the front and we'll just place one here 
like so. Then we want to do ourselves a double sign again. A space away that is. Another one just over here. Like so. And a slab on top like that. Awesome. That looks epic. Now we will go ahead and build um, over here. Uh, this way. Of course we need to go ahead and connect our two sides for our zebra crossing area. Knock out the granite because we know that there's going to be granite on the floor there for the pathway. So we, we can just remove that really. We'll do ourselves another brick wall here. We will do the pedestrian signs here. So we'll go up for three. And out each side of the road. And then continue for two. To then start to build outwards for our traffic lights. Of course the first one is two. Then it goes up into the singular ones just like so. And then we go up to the very top. Just up here is where we begin our traffic lights. Now both of these are going to be 13, so that's helpful. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Over here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Once again, we will come in for quite a few actually this time. Over here it's 2. Over here it's 3. 1, 2, 3. Traffic light just here. Leave a gap so you can do your two for your road sign. A singular gap again for that other traffic light just here. And then of course slabs on top of your traffic lights like so. In here for the five again. One, two, three, four, five. Group it all up. Add in your beacon down here. Then your slab at the very back. And over here for another traffic light we'll come in for two. One, two. Here is the traffic light. Oh, uh, just like so. There's going to be a slab up there. There's going to be two blocks, just a space away. And then one more space away, we do another traffic light over here with a slab on top. Now, I know it's quite far out from this side, but that's perfect because, of course, all that is parking spaces. So no one is going to be able to read those traffic lights from... Well, they're not supposed to be read from there anyways, but over here, definitely. So, um, yeah, that's what we do that for there. Wonderful, guys. Well done. Okay, so we're going to write Oak Street on this one over here. Once again, second line down. We'll do ourselves Oak on that one. And then we'll do Street ST on this one. Over here is going to be Third Street and New Street. So we'll go for typing Third in all caps, of course. And then here we want to do the S and T together. Uh, just like so. And then over on this one. It is going to be Oak Street again, of course, because it's opposite that one. So second line down once again. You do yourself Oak, oops, Oak. And then S and T. And over here once again, Third Street. Second line down. T, H, I. Oops. R, D. And then here, S, T. And that finalizes this intersection just here. Wicked. All right, nice one. So now we have a little bit of an island here again. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves uh, some of the stone brick slabs once again, which are just up here. I'm going to swap them out for my warp signs just here because I can grab that back by pick block. But it's a bit trickier with these slabs at the moment because we don't really have many going for us. So if I get rid of all these and just speed run filling it in with my stone brick slabs. There we go. We can actually go ahead and build our another little lamppost over here. So this one is going to go just on this big sort of line here. No, you know what? We'll use this corner. We'll go diagonally up for another one. And diagonally up on the second one is where we begin. Don't forget to add in that block beneath it. Just built with the slabs like so. We do four of our fences once again above. Two, three, four. We'll match the road corner here two little pedestrian signs like so and we'll actually do a oh sorry let me go do that on a block down like that and then we'll do ourselves the white stained glass on top with the four candles at the very top as well no azalea on that one at all but yeah that looks really good so now let's go ahead and move on down here to the clock tower intersection so now once again i'm here just in front of my clock tower now and of course we have that little statue as a reference as well we will go just firstly over here we want to knock out, of course, that li uh, little area between our zebra crossings. Very helpful for us just here. 
We'll take our nether brick wall just in the gap here. We will go up five blocks with our fences. Two, three, four, five. I'm not going to do my little pedestrian signs again for here, but I will go one, two, one, two, out with both my fences like so. Up and out for one, up and out for one. And then over here, I'm going to do one, and then I'm going to go for 10 along this way. So two, three, oops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like so. Over here, I'll go up and I'll go along for 13. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. And that goes, as you can see, really far along there, like so. We'll drop back in for one here and adding our traffic light just here with a slide on top. Then we want to go a space away and add in our cyan and a space away our other traffic light just in here. Voila. Very nice. And this one is actually going to say on it Mulberry, which is another new street in a moment. I will have to get my signs back afterwards. <laughs> I just realized I need them again now. So over here, we're going to go for two blocks in and we'll do our traffic light just here. Remember, one only connects to the post and the other one comes down, never above. The only thing above is the slab above. Space away, we'll do our two cyan. Space away from that one, another traffic light over here and slab on top. Back to the pillar, we'll do ourselves one, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll join all of these up. We'll do ourselves a beacon down below. And then we'll do ourselves a slab in the back corner, just like so. Wicked. I'll write my signs afterwards once we've got the other pillar done as well. Well, post. So this one over here, uh, this one is a bit more awkward because of course we have, um, we've not really marked it out very well. That is my, my fault for sure. We're gonna go ahead and just knock these three slabs out. And then we'll just remove the grass for that intersection there. Fill that back in. What we're going to do here is just go diagonally behind our slab with a nether brick wall. We'll do our usual five, two, three, four, five. One, two, come out on that side. One, two on this side. One and one. One and one. And then the top one is, of course, our beginning post. This one's going to go along for 12. So two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And this one over here only for nine. Two, three, four, five, ooh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, didn't want to play that time. There we are. Awesome. We'll go ahead and do one block in here and build this traffic light just in here. Slab on top, of course. A double sign once again. And then a space away another traffic light over this way like that over this one we're going to go ahead and come in just a block again just here for one second one just in there and a slab on top then we'll do our double sign once again and then we'll do our traffic light one block away from that sign again it's a very repetitive build this one today but it is very important as well and it does look cool once it's done over here go up five more pillars three for five or fences connect them all up add in your beacon at the front and your slab at the very back top there like so now let's go ahead and get our warped signs back in replacement of our um, stone brick slab which is here oops I replaced it for my beacon that was done there we are and then what we're gonna do is write on this one third so this is the one just here that we haven't actually built any road for so I'm going to speed run this. This one over here on the main road will be Mulberry. Once again, if you're unsure of the spelling of Mulberry, it is just M-U-L-B-E-R-R-Y. Super simple. Just basically Mulberry. And then we'll go over here and just write street as well. And now for this one over here, these ones over here are also going to be um, labeled a bit differently they are going to be third again on this one so literally the same as what we've just done i said differently but no it's going to be the same so second line down third for this one and then over here we'll do mulberry once again as if mulberry continues uh, onwards this direction just there wicked very nice work guys very well done now then, we must continue down this way for our final intersection of the day. 
and then we can get some lampposts built and we can pretty much call it an episode. Hell yeah. Right, let's get some new materials or at least swap some materials out here. Or maybe we don't need to. We can just crack on. So yeah, here we can just crack on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here where we have our bit of our bone blocks kind of showing through the floor. I'm going to go ahead and knock this out as if it had slabs in front of it to build that sort of right angle ready for my uh, my two intersections meeting. I'm going to go here on the corner. So as you can see, we have a bit of a wonky thing going for us. So I'm going to knock that one through. Just fill it in with dirt just so I know. So it looks like this now. And I'm going to place myself my nether brick wall just here. I'm going to build my usual one, two, three, four, five. Coming out two. Coming out two. Out and up for one. Out and up for one. And then this one over here is going to be 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This one will be nine. So this one uh, going alongside the library still is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just like so. Once again, block in, we'll do our traffic light over here. Like so. Then we'll do our two signs just here and here. And a space away, another traffic light just there with our slabs on top like so this will be mul mulberry still and then this one over here is going to be a bit different too we're going one two three and on four is where we start our traffic light we'll do our slab on top we'll do our two signs again oh no there's a single sign on this one it is a weird one we build the post really really long but we don't actually use all of it it's a bit annoying but hey I just use Google Maps and Earth to, to represent this properly. <laughs> and that's how it is in real life. So we're going to stick with the original. So we'll go space away. Another traffic light down here. And slab up there. Perfect. Looking good. And then we'll come back to the post and we'll do our five, two, three, four, five. Do your little cluster of them. Do your beacon. And then do your slab right at the back there. Then as we have the signs available, we'll speed run this, Mulberry on this one, and 2nd Street on this one. Sorted, and there we are. So let's go ahead and flip the corner now. Let's go over here, and this is where we're going to add in another one. Now this one's a bit different because we don't actually cut out the, um, the slabs here for the intersection. Because as you can see, the intersection is right there, immediately on top of the zebra crossing. So we don't want to go ahead and cut the slabs out because it would look a bit weird. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to add some more um, things in. We will go ahead and add in ourselves a stair here. Oh, sorry, a fence here. And a fence for now levitating just there. Then over here on this grass block, for now, we'll take a nether brick fence. Uh, ne uh, nether brick wall. Ah, even. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Said that the whole time, guys. <laughs> and then we'll take five, of course, again, starting up here. So two, three, four, five. We will do our... Did we do our thing here? I think we do one. We're only going to do the one going this way. So it's on the three. One, two, three. There's going to be one that faces that way. There's not one that faces backwards, though, which is a bit weird. So anyways, on the five, do your two fences that come out. Go one and out one and out and then again upwards we're going to now do 14 for this one one two three four oh four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and over this way we'll do nine one two three four five six seven eight nine just like so a block in stair down here stair as well first traffic light of the day space away signs again space away traffic lights again Ooh, i'm making it sound so exciting <laughs> traffic lights Ooh, lovely and then over here we'll do ourselves a space from the uh, front traffic light just in here slab on top we'll do our sign a space away space away another traffic light just over here and voila now we're going to go ahead and write on this sign just here, second, second right, uh, row down, second, and then street, of course with our ST, the usual ST, and this one will say Mulberry, like so. And then we'll come over here and obviously adding our 
um, lamppost which is going to be five blocks above so two three four five group them all up of course add in your beacon add in your nether brick slab at the back there and voila we have ourselves another completed and badass looking intersection look at that that looks pretty cool if you fly up above like, it looks just 10 times cooler <laughs> anyways the next thing to do whilst we have uh, certain materials and whilst we have it kind of fresh in my brain to be honest we're actually just going to grab ourselves some of the stone brick slabs back which oh, I thought they were closer than they are but they're over here so if you have paper lock on recommend just flying to get some and then we're going to come back up to that island that we have over here obviously it's all just kind of a cut out grass area knock out all the grass of course and then literally just go ahead and add in some slabs instead so literally just in its place um, because it looks way better I think I may have just knocked that out so let's just add that in so yeah if you do this then uh, just it makes it look way tidier and just much more finished I guess <laughs> that's the look we're going for anyways and there we go so now we have ourselves four intersections which is definitely something to be proud of we have full working traffic lights which means no one's gonna crash and if you've played those games on the iPhone and stuff or on your Android phone or whatever then you will know that it's very important to have traffic lights <laughs> man I wish this video was sponsored by someone who made those games I love those games <laughs> anyways we are gonna now get ourselves the materials just for the lampposts and try and complete those today as well and then once we've done that we can call this episode completed happy days let's get some materials guys and some dimensions and hop back to it well then for this section guys all that is necessary for us to grab is some nether brick walls nether brick fences some flowering azalea leaves some white stained glass and some white candles literally the simplest stuff ever and the nicest stuff to be honest this stuff is awesome so what we're going to do firstly is we're going to use the car parking spaces to our advantage I'm going to start from my right side down here and I'm right next to the flag by the way this is the one we're starting on we will go down here we will count number one we will go for number two and in number two there is going to be a lamppost just about here now don't worry it's going to be in the grass at the moment that's obviously going to change later so one nether brick wall just firstly then we want to go for five of our nether brick fences not four this time two three four five we'll come out on both sides for one each this way and then we'll do flowering azalea beneath these like so then I'll do myself a stained glass paint, uh, sorry, not a stained glass paint, a stained glass block on top, and then four candles on top of that as well. Or you could even do two. Two looks better. There we go. They kind of look like little guys carrying like bags of something. Like, you know, when you help your mum bring in the shopping or your dad, and you're sort of like carrying them like with your arms up, it looks like that. Is it just me or does it look like that? Like with someone with spiky hair? I don't know, maybe, maybe. It's this chocolate milkshake, it's getting to me. It's getting to me. <laughs> All right guys now you know how to build one I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to place the others and then you can build them on your own time just so that you don't have to watch me build like thousands of these things so now we have that one one two parking spaces three parking spaces four parking spaces and on this one up here is actually gonna be on the dividing line between four and five so it'll be in this gap here so I'm gonna mark it and like I said you guys can build these on your own now now you know how to build them We'll go two park, uh, parking spaces up from this one, number one, number two, this one will be just here before the white line. Next one is going to be three away and this one's actually going to be in the middle. So one, two and on three we're going to do this one directly in the middle just there like so. And again of course it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, five on all these, azalea leaves and then the candles on top of the glass. So yeah, all good there. That's that one marked out. We'll leave that for you guys to do. I'm now going to go around to the electrical side, which is this way. That's the ramp side. This is the electrical side as we have all the uh, anvils. And what we're going to do here is we're going to count from the spaces down here. We will count number one up this end. I think I may have done the crosshatch the wrong way around. Ah, doesn't matter. It still makes sense. So we're going to go for... Um, I will just double check this. I'll start from this way. This will be easier. We will go for one, two, and on three just up here. We want to go for just before this one. So just there. So that's on the third one. 
And then we want to get to the seventh one. So three, four, five, six, and on seven, we're going to do this one in the top. Oh, in the middle, just here. Now we need to get to the twelfth one. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This one will be on the left side up here. Then we want to go for the eighteenth one. So we're going to go for thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, just here. And this one is going to be again on the left side up just here, like so. So if you want to go ahead and build them the exact same way as the other lamppost guys, that would be perfect. As long as you have four of them, you've done it correctly. Now we need to just spin around to the yellow doors, which are going to be these ones because they have the big yellow handles on. And we're going to go ahead and count from the parking spaces again. Now this one is going to go one, two, and on three, we do this one on the top right up here, like so. Now we need to get to nine, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're going to go to the middle. And now we're going to go to 14, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And this one's going to also be top middle. Always change them later if need to. And then this one's going to be on 18, so 15, 16, 17, 18, just here. And this one will again be, actually this is going to be on the white line, I believe. Yeah, we'll do it there. Nice one. And then you should be two spaces away before getting to the disabled parking space on the end. Sorted. Now the final section is going to be the tower side. And this one is going to count from the spaces again. Uh, so we must count from the eighth space. The first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just here. I'm going to do this one raised again. As this, is a, a, uh, <laughs> as this is a raised platform. So we do the lamppost up there in line with the white line uh, for the seventh and eighth space. Now we need to get to um, 12, I believe. So we'll go from eight just in here, nine, 10, 11, 12, just in here. And I think I might go to 13, maybe just looking at my terrible handwriting there I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's 13 just in there like so I will just count this again quick so I am gonna build it on 12 rather than 13 guys <laughs> going back to check my handwriting yeah 12 rather than 13 that's all right and then we'll get to 19 which is gonna be if you wanted to count this an easier way it's literally the fourth one in from the right side so one two three and on four it is gonna be just up here in the center actually just there once again they're gonna be built the exact same way as the other ones it's just as you can see some of them are more compact than others just here and there only seems to be three of them as well which is a bit weird but there we are so yeah that is that done i'm going to go ahead and build these off camera and then we can call today's episode completed well there we are guys that concludes episode number nine of building hawkins square from stranger things here in minecraft thank you very much once again for joining me and for just waiting honestly guys your patience is beyond anything <laughs> to be honest to uh to have waited this long for this tutorial and to just wait alongside me whilst i get my other stuff in order um honestly you guys are amazing so thank you very very much i really do owe you that thank you so much um like i said there's going to be more episodes coming out more frequently now i'm going to get these done every single monday until we have this done so literally i'm knuckling down with this getting tutorials done left right and center and just catching up so yeah, there'll be a tutorial on Monday now um, for the rest of this build, basically. So, yeah, it's going to be wicked. But, yeah, look at this now. We actually have, like, a downtown look to our square, which is what we wanted. So, um, this is really starting to come along. And it's starting to take a lot more shape than just plonking the library with a bunch of roads. So, um, once we get these little details done, it, uh, it just starts to become more like the actual show. And, like, the real place in Jackson. So, yeah, it's wicked. It's wicked to see. But yeah, thank you once again, Assassins. You have an excellent rest of your day. Take the best of care. Do stay tuned for the episode, uh, sorry, the 10th episode coming soon, which is mad. Double digits. Hell yeah. Um, if you are new around here, I doubt you are now, but if you are, very well, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> very, <laughs> a very big welcome to you to the channel. I really appreciate you watching and uh, putting up with my terrible speaking. Ugh. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like on it. That'd be wicked. And um, if you are on social media, you can find all of my links in the description below. So you can keep up to date with videos coming out 
and old tutorials that you may have not seen before so definitely check it out and yeah guys if you are new definitely consider joining the assassin hood today for free by subscribing that'd be wicked be awesome to have you join our guild but i'm gonna head off and try and recover my speaking again um <laughs> until the next time guys take the best of care have an excellent rest of your day and i will see you very shortly for another wheel assassin guide good boy for now